that's new. Whoop, there it is. 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 I love these rides, man. Um, love sharing knowledge with you, too. On today's thing, I want to share with you the importance between a mentor, a mentor, and a coach. Now, a lot of you, you know, I, it's amazing how many people, first of all, don't have a coach. And it's also crazy, a lot of people that don't have a mentor, right? And so, and more than one, I mean, wow, and you really get this principle, it's amazing. Now, the first thing I wanna tell you, and this is just my opinion, you guys can check this out, but a coach is usually somebody that's in your life for a, a, a season and a time, as Jim Rowan would say. Uh, not only is it in your life for a season, but it's temporary, like a coach, uh, you know, maybe in basketball, football, you know, sports, that's why they always call them coaches. And, you know, it's somebody that usually is in something with you, you know? So like if they were trying to push you to get you to do something, they're like saying, listen, come on, we gotta win this tournament. We wanna win this game. And so they really, really push you and coaches have a tendency of pushing because you know, the whole team, you know, you're involved in a team and, and effort and that's usually what a coach will really, really do. So they're usually involved with you for a season. Um, and again, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're one of the people that will really uh, not only push you, but a coach also can be in a position where, you know, they'll fire you. <laughs> so if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, then it's like, listen, if you're not gonna show up for practice, you're not gonna do what I tell you to do, uh, then you need to set the bench. If you're not setting the bench, then maybe what you need to do is at least, uh, you know, you're, you go to another team because the chemistry here is just not there. On the other hand, a mentor, a mentor is usually someone that once you meet them, they're usually in your life forever. So one of the things that you see with like a mentor, it might be like, you know, Luke with, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker and, and Yoda, right? Or, or you know, any one of those kind of relationships. It's a, it's a lifelong mentorship and you're constantly thinking about the things that they taught you. One of the other things that mentors do that is really, really powerful is what they'll do is they wait for you, listen closely, they wait for you to come to them. So when you come to them and you say, well, listen, I, I, I need your advice with this or like this, and they're usually um, not, they might not even be doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? So you might come to a mentor because of relationships, uh, you know, maybe something on the spiritual side, uh, maybe something to do with finance, business. Uh, there's a lot of reasons, you know, a personal trainer, um, you know, they don't call him a coach, they call him a personal trainer. But a mentor is someone that's gonna give you some information and steps to do. And they might tell you, hey, I, I think you should read this book, or hey, I think you should go to this event, or hey, I think you should do this and this. And usually when you do not do those things, then you probably will get away from them and not bother them anymore. Because the last time that you talk to your mentor, if you have one, and you ask them, well, what should I do in this situation? Or what would you do? And they tell you, then all of a sudden when you don't do that, then you've already sort of said, you know, listen, I'm not ready. Uh, this is not the time for me. I'm not willing to make that kind of commitment or I don't want to do that one thing. So think about that. When, you know, a mentor is not going to reach out to you. See, they could be your friend and they can call and ask how the, you know, the family's doing or ask how you're doing. Uh, maybe around a holiday they might say something. But a mentor is waiting for you to come to them. So I love in the scene in Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. You know, my partner, Rob Rell, uh, he, put, he sent me a picture autographed, autographed uh, with that scene, uh, wax on and wax off. And if you notice the mentor in this uh, uh, scenario, uh, Mr. Miyagi, he basically says, I will instruct you and tell you what to do, but you can't ans ask any questions. <laughs> He goes, I will decide to mentor you, but you can't ask me any questions. And so he goes, okay, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that. 
And as soon as he uh, says, okay, great. Then what you do is here's some buckets and some water. And he says, see these cars? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, well, listen, start washing the cars. And he's like, well, listen. And he's going, I, I, and he's going, what? I said, no questions. And then after you wash the cars, then I want you to wax them. I want wax on this one, wax off this one. He goes, breathe in through nose, out through mouth. Very important breathing. In through nose, out through mouth. And he's like, oh, okay. And he goes, well, you know, well, what about I? See what I mean? It's like, I'm not gonna instruct you if you can't follow simple directions. If you can't do what I tell you, what a waste of time. And I know that my mentor did this to me. My mentor and coach, one, is my mentor not only pushed me and told me, listen, why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? Because he was in a position as we were working together in a marketing company to hit pin positions and go up in ranks. And he was really, really, you know, he had the round table and then he had the knights of the round table, which I was very, very blessed to make to both. And he even challenged me, you know, I said, how do I get on this knights of the round table? At that time, there was only five of them. And he said, go to a city and take all the stuff I taught you and go to that city, you know, uh, take your pitch book. <laughs> it was little, you know, uh, testimonials and stuff in clear plastic, you know, and go out there and prove to me that you can do it again. And I did that and that's how I ended up on Knights of the Round Table. But his whole goal was to get to the top of this company. He wanted to be known as having more people on the stage in the top 10 than any other leader there. And he accomplished that. And so that's what I sort of learned to do. That's what my whole deal was, is not only to become uh, uh, on stage, but get in the top five, to become number one that I did numerous times. And then the next thing is they have everyone on stage. And I've been with three companies where when I was standing on stage, the top 10 people, I not only was blessed to be number one, but the top 10 were all my people. And so that's a huge difference between a mentor and a coach. But my mentor, uh, you know, being a coach, the mentor side of him, when I first met him, he said, listen, I want you to go get this book. And I said, a book, I, I don't like reading. And he didn't say anything, but if he was, it would have been, I <laughs> <laughs> and it went, I, I'm sorry. I said, what was it? What's the name of the book? And back then, you know, probably 28 years ago, that book was Think and Grow Rich. Uh, another one, of course, uh, I talk about is uh, the other book was just Og Mandino, uh, The World's Greatest Miracle. And so that's the difference between a coach and a mentor. And I hope that made sense. There's a lot of other differences, but, um, you know, the point that I wanted to make with this is give you the difference. I'm very blessed where I feel like I'm not only a great mentor for people, but also a coach. If you want someone to push you and hold you accountable. On the other hand, if you want a mentorship for me, then guess what? You're gonna have to just reach out to me. So anyway, go to lifemechanic.com, lifemechanic.com. I'll put it down here. And, and go to Life Mechanic, I, I got some videos, you can just subscribe for free, and I'll send some free videos to you. One, I do a character called The Doctor, uh, and then some other videos. And then also what you can do is on that same website, uh, you can go to Coaching or Mentor. And if you're interested in any way, shape, or form, you can fill out that application, and uh, I'll get back to you, we'll set a time, and I'll put together you know, some uh, uh, free coaching for you, and free mentorship if you want, and I love helping people. I'm in a place in life today now where, you know, to me, legacy. I'm a grandfather, uh, soon to be twice, you know, and uh, got a granddaughter on the way and my grandson, Ryder. And I just love leading by example. So my legacy right now is more important than currency. And so do me a huge personal favor, get a coach, get a mentor. You need more than one. And, um, and start out, I'd love to be one of your coaches and one of your mentors. I feel like I, I've really been blessed to help a lot of people, including my sons, that are extremely, extremely successful. So um, reach out to me. Again, Robert Hollis. Uh, go to lifemechanic.com. 
uh, and uh, and click on uh, coaching or mentorship or maybe it's uh, I'll put the link down here <laughs> so take care God bless never ever ever forget that if I did it I know that you can do it um, I've helped a lot of people do this so you can do this you just got to get the proper coaching and and mentorship I think my video tomorrow is gonna be more on um, you know documentation beats conversation a person cannot take you someplace they've never been <laughs> so talk to you tomorrow take care god bless bye bye